Hi, I'm Jason Lake. Uh, when building a deck, there's many ways to attach a beam to a post. I'm gonna show you the right way. A lot of common uh, mistakes I see people do is uh, creating a beam like this. You have the beam bolted through with carriage bolts and you're relying on the bolt to hold up the beam with all the weight of the joist. The reason why you don't attach a beam this way is because there's no shear strength in carriage bolts. When you have downward pressure uh, on these uh, leg bolts here, just pretend that that's the carriage bolt. So by shear strength, I mean like this. See, that just breaks right off. Now I'm gonna show you how to do it correctly. What I'm gonna do is actually notch the post, measure down five and a half, get your speed square out, come across. We're gonna be doubling up that two by six. So that's inch and a half and inch and a half. So that's three inches across. So this we're gonna cut out. We're just gonna use our skill saw and cut it out. What you don't wanna do is overcut. We'll come in after with the handsaw. So that's your notch. We went with a two by six double beam. So it's gonna sit right in there. Now all the weight of this beam is point loaded directly onto the post and transfers all the weight. So now that uh, we've notched our post and our beam is in, uh, what the next step is is putting in carriage bolt. You wanna use at least a half inch carriage bolt and also galvanize so it doesn't rust out. The placement is really important. It's best to go diagonal. If you go up and lower on the same strain of the wood, it can crack the wood. What, what I like to do is also add a, a nice big washer. So make sure that you, on the back end of the carriage bolt, that you add a washer as well. And then uh, bring your nut down and bring her down, tighten her right up. As you can see, uh, we put the carriage bolt on a diagonal. Now your beam's in place and nice and strong. So make sure you watch my show on College Life Network called Dex, Docs, and Gazebos. Thank you.